I'm gonna say this, man. Uh, JJ, I hope you enjoyed those glory days with Kirk Cousin and having a Pro Bowl quarterback. Uh, even though I don't really like Kirk Cousins like that, but he is a good quarterback. He is above average. He's just hasn't done anything in the playoffs. But that's besides the point. This is a nightmare come true for Minnesota Vikings, bro. You guys let Kirk Cousin walk, and he's now an Atlanta Falcon. Are you kidding me? Kirk Cousin, a Falcon? Like, I'm not going to sit here and act like I saw this coming. But I did know that, like, the Vikings were in a tough situation because they were going to have to pay JJ, and they were going to have to pay Kirk Cousin monumental money. You can make the argument that you pay those two, you probably don't have a rest of, the rest of your roster. So, But for Kirk Cousin to leave Minnesota, Minnesota has no backup plan. I'm hearing talks about them going after Sam Darnold. <laughs> Y'all better bring back Dobbs in this bitch. The fuck? <laughs> Sam Darnold? If I were y'all, I'd get rid of JJ, bro. I'd keep it a bean, bro. Because what's the point of paying a superstar wide receiver $200 million if you're going to get below average quarterback play? Uh, Vikings, y'all fumbled this. I don't know how else to tell you. Y'all fumbled it. Y'all going to have to pay this dude upward of 150 mil and he has no quarterback. How far are you going to go? Not very far at all. So we're going to get into it. Kirk Cousins just broke the NFL. That they were in for Kirk Cousins. Spent the past six seasons in Minnesota, where he ranks third in franchise history in passing yards. Cousins is heading to the Atlanta Falcons on a four-year deal. Y'all going to miss that, man. The fall in NFL free agency has officially fallen. Kirk Cousins has made his decision as to where his future in the NFL is going to lie. And this is going to have a huge domino effect on the rest of the NFL. So before we get to the Facts. content, we have so many much content coming out for you guys today so much so that even your notifications aren't going to get each and every video so make sure you follow us on twitter instagram our discord server in the description down below because we're on pace to upload five videos today and now that we get all that out of the way work. been able to make some instagram fat when the sponsor so I made a video titled Justin Jefferson's Follow him on Twitter. is real this time. In this video, I outlined a scenario where the Minnesota Vikings essentially have to choose. Yo, bro, let, let me hit you. I'm, I'm reacting to the Kirk Cousin video. Let me let me hit you right after this video. What happened? choose between Justin Jefferson and Kirk Cousins. Now in this scenario, you have to choose between paying Kirk Cousins a top three quarterback contract as he enters his age 36 season, or essentially resetting the wide receiver market with the best wide receiver in the NFL <coughs> with Justin Jefferson. And it didn't take a genius to really figure out which one they were going to choose. Trading Justin Jefferson would be so logistically challenging for the Minnesota Vikings because one, you'll never be able to get the value that you think he deserves. And two, most teams that would be able to give you the value that he deserves just wouldn't do it because it wasn't logistically possible. For example, if you wanted to trade Justin Jefferson oh. to the Arizona Cardinals for their first round draft pick, the Cardinals wouldn't do that because they would rather take Marvin Harrison Jr., have him on a rookie scale contract for five years, as opposed to giving up a first round pick for the right to pay Justin Jefferson the most money out of all wide receivers mm. in the NFL. So the plan that I outlined for the Minnesota Vikings at that point was they had to figure out a plan B for their quarterback position. And there are a plethora of options to do so. Whether that's trading up for Jaden Daniels in this year's NFL draft, selecting JJ McCarthy or Michael Penix in this year's NFL draft, or taking a flyer on any of the free agent QBs that are available. But the problem is, is a lot of good quarterback options are already off of the table. For example, Russell Wilson signed with the Pittsburgh Steelers yesterday. At the same time, Baker Mayfield agreed to a huge contract extension to stay with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So it should be very I can't believe the Tampa Bay Bucks gave Baker Mayfield a hundred million dollars, bro. Like, this dude literally had one foot out the league two years ago. He's probably one of the worst quarterbacks ever. Before before Carolina even got Bryce Young, Baker Mayfield was calling snaps and they were atrocious. Like, Baker, just the craziest underdog story you'll ever see. But for Baker to get a hundred million, son, I like, all right, bro. I'm not a hater, bro. Get your money, Baker. But come on. We we y'all not winning no chip.
Very interesting to nah. figure out what the Minnesota Vikings plan is going to be under center. And they know it too. That Kirk Cousins does leave. At the end of the day, the Minnesota Vikings were still trying to convince Kirk Cousins to stay a Minnesota Viking. But they failed because according to Adam Schefter, first reported by Mike McCartney 7, the Atlanta Falcons are signing Kirk Cousins to a four-year deal. Now, it's very difficult for me to grade any type of deal without knowing the details of the contract. And to be honest, this is a pretty fantastic contract for Kirk Cousins. So, Tom Pelissaro would report that the details of the contract Crazy. are a four-year, $180 million contract that includes a $50 million signing bonus per sources. Another monster payday for- Like, yo, could, I need y'all to fathom what it's like to sign a piece of paper and just get handed $50 million before you even do anything, bro. This would be the shit that makes the average person that works a nine to five lose their fucking mind. How these organizations are just throwing money at these quarterbacks. 50 million just to sign on the dotted line? Y'all don't even know if Kirk Cousins fully healed from his torn Achilles. But here's 50 M's. What? It's like video, it's like a video game, bro. 50 million just like that? And, you know, I'm not going to say whether he deserves it or not. Like, it's the NFL, bro. Once you make it to the league, get your bread, bro. But Kirk Cousin, for a man with very little playoff wins and no championships, has bamboozled the National Football League, bro. This dude coming in as RG3's backup for the Washington Redskins. Yes, I go that far back in time. And to have not really done much besides be a regular season quarterback. You know what I mean? He's been a regular season quarterback. And arguably, you could say he was having the best season of his career last year. The man had the number one receiver in the league, one of the best tight ends in TJ Hawkinson last year. And then that Allison kid who they drafted, like, he was surrounded by weapons. And for him to get $50 million with $100 million guaranteed for a nigga that's really done nada is crazy, bro. 50 M's. I, like, we got to let that shit marinate. That's Mahomes' numbers. Mahomes at least got three chips. Cousins, who gets 100 Shit crazy, million bro. guaranteed, 90 million in 2024 and 25, plus another 10 million in 26, and a fresh start in Atlanta at age 35. We're in Atlanta. An A plus for the Atlanta Falcons, who get their best quarterback since Matt Ryan. Now, a lot of people are going to look at $45 million and say, Mike, that's an overpay. But when you take a look at the highest paid QBs in the NFL, you have Joe Burrow. Patrick Mahomes, Justin Herbert, Lamar Jackson, Jalen Hurts, Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, <coughs> Tyler Murphy. Joe Burrow is the highest paid quarterback in the league at 55. Damn. <coughs> Herbert deserves. Patrick Mahomes needs to be on top of this list ASAP. Pa Lamar, cool. Jalen Hurts, 51. Okay, I guess. Um, Rodgers at 50. Russell, 49. Kyler Murray, 46. Deshaun Watson is overpaid. Deshaun Watson has fallen off. And then you got Josh Allen at 43. Damn, son. That's the standard, I guess, yo. Yo, your quarterback's about to be worth 50 million annually. Like, look at this. That's crazy. Murray and Deshaun Watson making Kirk Cousins the 10th highest paid QB in the NFL. The craziest part about this is Drake London, Kyle Pitts, and Bijan Robinson are all on rookie scale contracts and the atlanta falcons have the eighth pick in this year's nfl draft which means i know on paper last year this is a, a 7-10 team in the nfc south but when you consider the amount of upgrades that this team has the potential to make throughout the offseason this was a brilliant decision by kirk cousins i don't think this was anything personal against the minnesota vikings but the vikings have to pay justin jefferson kirk cousins would have probably had to take a pay cut in order to return to minnesota and then once you return to the Minnesota Vikings, you have to play in a division that features a team that came second place in the NFC last year, the Detroit Lions, who made it to the NFC Championship, the Green Bay Packers, who made noise in the playoffs last year and just signed Josh Jacobs to pair with Aaron Jones. And then you have, of course, the Chicago Bears, who have the number one overall pick in this year's NFL Draft, alongside the ninth overall pick in this year's NFL Draft. In addition to a plethora of cap space, the future for winning the NFC North didn't look so good for the Minnesota Vikings. And even if they were the team to beat in the NFC North, 
the competition in the NFC South is without a doubt significantly weaker. And that's nothing mm. against the NFC South. Again, I praise the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for their signing of Baker Mayfield. But in this particular instance, the path to winning the NFC South is way easier than winning the NFC Facts. North. The room for the Atlanta Falcons to make upgrades in the NFC South are significantly easier than the NFC North. Even furthermore, nothing's really gonna change very much for Kirk Cousins. You still have a promising tight end who never gets the ball for some reason because Arthur Smith hated him. You have a fantastic running attack to support you. you That's how Kyle Pitts looks without a helmet Drake on. London, That's crazy. Although Drake London might not be Justin Jefferson, of course. You have an up and coming defense and your offensive coordinator also comes from the Sean McVay coaching tree, Zach Robinson. I give both Kirk Cousins and the Atlanta Falcons an A plus for this move. In terms of the Minnesota Vikings, I'm not really worried about you guys. I don't think Think it's going to be a tough sell to come play for the minnesota vikings however i do understand why you had to move on from kirk cousins you're not going to be competitive giving a 36 year old kirk cousins 45 million dollars and then resetting the market at the wide receiver position with justin jefferson your best option at this point is you have justin jefferson you have tj hawkinson you have jordan addison you want to find a quarterback on a rookie scale contract are going to be able to find those wide receivers and with the 11th pick in the first round of the nfl draft you are bound to either have michael Penix or jj mccarthy slide to you and if you really want to be aggressive then you could trade up to the number three overall pick and if you really love him you could select Jaden daniels there's a lot of options for the minnesota vikings here i understand why they couldn't continue with kirk cousins and to be honest I would say that it'd be a horrific mistake if they re-signed Kirk Cousins. There is no question in my mind that Kirk Cousins' season-ending injury this year is going to be one of the biggest what-ifs in NFL history. He started out the season 0-3. Eventually, he was able to turn it around and go 1-4, narrowly losing to the eventual Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs. He was on a three-game winning streak before his season completely ended, and he was playing at an MVP-type level before his season concluded. The fact that we never really truly got to see the potential of Kirk Cousins and Kevin O'Connell's offense does suck, kind of, but at the same time, I feel like the Minnesota Vikings have a plan in place, and it's something that Vikings fans Shit, they are better. excited about. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. On top of that, we have Saquon Barkley signing with the Philadelphia Eagles. We have Josh yeah. Jacobs signing with the Green Bay Packers. We have T. Higgins demanding a trade. We have Baker Mayfield agreeing to an extension. All of those are coming for you guys soon. I'll leave some existing content on the end screen. And aside from that, I'm your boy, Mike. And I'm dropping our mic until our next upload. A lot of moves, a lot of splashes. I'm liking free agency so far, bro. I really am. It, like, it, it's it's new faces and new places. <laughs> Yo, but this was Kirk Cousins just broke the NFL. And as far as the Vikings goes, y'all got to figure something out. I mean, obviously, you guys are going to go for a quarterback in the draft because you have way too many weapons to not have a quarterback. And right now, I think the Vikings are a little nervous because it's like, all right, shit, we don't got Cousins. Now let's just hope the, the draft goes like we want it to go. Maybe we could get our guy. If we can't get our guy at 11, let's move up. Who knows? We'll see. But I didn't see Kirk Cousins to the Atlanta Falcons. But yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think. And Kirk Cousins just broke the NFL. This dude, bro, I swear to you, Kirk Cousins has made more money than Patrick Mahomes, bro. I'm telling you. It, it, it's crazy. I'm going to holler at you guys next video. Hit the like and subscribe button for more content. I'm your host, Gabo. Say so. Yeah, man. Rich keep getting richer.